Um, yeah. In this video, I'm going to show an example of how to scale in uh, VR games. So I've made this examples project. And uh, the idea here is I have made some settings where I can show, well, I have uh, used VR, VRIK to give myself an, um, a VR avatar. So I have a body that follows me around. Uh, it also tries to walk just because I move in the play space. I might have to find a way around that at some point. But for this purpose, it's, uh, it's it should be okay. Um, the thing is, uh, when you have these VR avatars, if uh, if the player is too tall, um, well, you the player avatar cannot reach the floor. Um, unless you change the size of the player avatar. Um, but what if uh, the player is too small? Like uh, if I was only this tall, I would the the player avatar would be crouching all the time. Um, you could solve that by changing the height of the player avatar, but then you end up having a small player being a, having a small avatar. Um, so I think there are various. Uh, situations where you would probably want to to change either the avatar or the player's uh, size uh, in relation to the game world um so i've made the uh, i've not the this is the VRT, vrtk and uh, it has a few nice examples um so that you can change locomotion types and it's to, made to show locomotion um and I like to do the tests in this because usually my tests are in regards to locomotion as well. Um, so this is the scale values uh, for different parts. Here we go. Um, I haven't figured out yet how to set these to start at one. Uh, so if I click it now, nothing happens because it everything is scaled to one right now. So that means in Unity, uh, the scale of one, uh, like if this uh, was a scale of one, it would be one meter in real life. Um, and one in a scale is just how big uh, according to the parent scale, um, if it's the local scale anyway, but all of these are the local scale of the world. Uh, and the world here means uh, all these objects we see around me, except um, the terrain because it has a different type of scale. And then there's the avatar scale, which is the body, uh, and the player scale, which is uh, which is uh, the scale of the VR rig in in this uh, example. So, for example, if I make a very small avatar, you see what would happen if I had if I was really really tall, maybe. Um, then the avatar is hanging in the air. Um, but the other thing is, if I was uh, really short or playing seated, I would walk around in the world like this. The VR rig uh, knows where the floor is, so it just adapts to the floor. But then it ends up walking like this. In other examples, uh, you might end up um, actually having the feet through the floor. Uh, that might be when you just change where the camera is in relation to the game world. So if you just set the camera higher than from the ground than than it would usually be, then uh, yeah, your the feet starts flying up in the air, goes through the floor. Uh, that's why I think you should instead probably just change the scales here. Um, also, it's easier to see the world when the VR uh, when the scale is different but what if uh, the player is really small here then again this uh, the hands look big and uh, the wheels look big um, but these hands are actually the same size as before in relation to everything else <coughs> so they might look big to the VR player but this is also how uh, a small person would see these hands. Mm, wait, no, that's not right. 
the small person would just be smaller, I guess. Mm. Yeah, so the hands wouldn't look that this big to to a smaller player, I think. Uh, but that's because with this scale we are changing the full size and not just some of the size. Um, and I'm not sure if the, it's if it could be a problem with the camera. Um, but so if you want to change the player uh, to be bigger in the game so that it uh, should look like that the, maybe the player is uh, supposed to be a giant or um, a movie type monster like uh, Godzilla or something or, or King Kong, uh, then you would probably want to change both the player scale and the avatar scale. And uh, now the hands look normal, but everything around me is is a lot smaller. So I can climb this and I can move around. And if I then change the world scale as well, then everything looks normal except the mountains because everything has changed. But now the physics scale is off because if I drop something here um, that is inside this play space, it would not. Uh, follow the regular physics um, yeah because uh, gravity and so on is, is based on on the size of these uh, things um, but yeah uh, the reason I have made this video is to because I believe it should be possible um, to adjust the player scale to um, to the avatar scale. So you might want the, the avatar to be a certain scale in the game, and then if the player doesn't match the size, then it, it then the player should be scaled to accordingly. So that if the player is a bit if the player is a bit smaller than the VR avatar, then you probably balance the game overall to to be played by a, a player of a certain size um, or at least uh, to be played by uh, the, an avatar of a certain size so this way you could just adjust the, the player scale a bit um, to, to suddenly become higher and then be able to use um, or, well play the game overall uh, the way that it meant to be, so that it's not suddenly um, like for some players, these would be far apart if you're not very high, um, and your arms are therefore shorter and so on. Um, and then you can use such a scale to to ensure that the player actually has the right size. Um, but most most games seems to ignore this. Um, and I'm not sure why, but uh, one reason I think is that it seems complicated to to change this size. Um, it could possibly also be used uh, for cheating, um, but I think uh, yeah, that it just seems like a a good service to to have such a setting in the game and uh, might get more players to play. Um, Another thing to consider is if a person is playing seated and, and you want to, to support this, then this would not be enough to have these scales like uh, changing via avatar scale and the player scale and uh, you could maybe make the avatar a bit bigger than the player uh, or, or just yeah make the player a bit bigger and then when you're seated um, and this could work like say if I'm sitting down now so now I'm not as tall I might be like this so if I click it now now my feet are touching the floor again uh, without the knees bending too much in fact I it seems to be tiptoeing a bit so maybe it's 
1.3. Yeah, this looks more natural. Um, and it could probably be auto calibrated as well, so that uh, you just have a calibration uh, when you start the game. And then you can add this. I think uh, quite a few games actually have that, uh, the, this calibration to ensure the size of the player and where the player is. Mm. But yeah, that's uh, that's it for this video. Um, well, maybe I should mention a few things about what I have done. Uh, so here is the the scene in Unity. Um, and the important thing is uh, there's the option menu here where you open all the options in the game, uh, so that you see this board and uh, and I found that it could be a problem that uh, that I changed the scale of the VR rig to something very big or very small and suddenly I couldn't uh, I, I once uh, changed myself to be very small so I couldn't really uh, reach the scales anymore um, on this options menu um, so therefore I made it uh, scale to transform so that uh, this is to avoid that it follows it around. I made a script that uh, that follows the scale of the camera rig uh, with this transform so that it, uh, usually you could just put it on a parent it to the transform, but that's not a good option here because then it would also follow the camera rig around uh, and that's not what it's supposed to do. Uh, that would cause a lot of problems with how it's working right now. Um, and this, these are all the scene objects, so this is the game object that I'm scaling uh, to scale the game world. And um, then we have the player uh, himself, so there's uh, the Steam VR, uh, this is the, um, the camera rig, well this is a camera rig as it's called. Um, but usually this pilot, which is uh, used for the VRIK avatar, <coughs> he was uh, put right directly below the camera rig because usually that's fine. Um, but that wouldn't that would uh, be in the way of solving this problem because once you scale the camera rig, you would also scale the avatar, and in this case, we don't want that to happen. We want to be able to uh, to decouple them and and change their size separately. But we still need the the pilot here to follow the player around. So I also made a follow transform script uh, that makes sure that that this uh, pilot here follows the camera rig around um, uh, exactly the same way as the scaling script for the options menu. Yes, um, I hope you find this useful or inspiring, and uh, hopefully this could be implemented in more games. Um, see you around.